In Borneo, there are many natural features for one to explore. The orangutans, the wide ageless rainforests. One of the most striking of all is Mount Kinabalu. At 13,435 feet, it is the highest peak in the Malay archipelago and is home to more than 4,500 species of flora and fauna, including 326 species of bird and around 100 species of mammals. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site for this reason alone. Outside of this protected site, much of Borneo's forest has been logged, developed, or replaced by oil palm plantations, and the Bornean orangutan and some other wildlife has become endangered. The result is a push for ecotourism. Ecotourism is a way to learn of the land and the effects we as humans have on it, while also doing activities that have the lowest impact on the environment. This makes Mount Kinabalu's intact habitat not only a physical challenge, but a privileged journey through nature. Kinibalu was formed about 15 million years ago when a huge ball of molten rock was forced beneath the Crocker mountain range. This rock hardened to form a granite mound called a pluton deep beneath the Earth's crust. About 1 million years ago, the pluton was forced upward through the Crocker range to what we see now. It continues to be forced upward a quarter inch each year. The way the mountain looks now is a result of glaciers that stopped forming about a few thousand years ago. Vegetation on the mountain depends on altitude and is split into four different zones. The lowland forest area at the bottom of the mountain is inhabited by dipterocarp trees as tall as 160 feet. These trees grow figs and other fruits and the surrounding area supports the highest concentrations of animal life due to the habitat the trees create. The lower montane oak chestnut forest lies above 4,000 feet full of conifers and oaks. These are smaller trees that could reach as high as 100 feet. As a result of the abundance of these trees, squirrels and pigs are common. A cooler climate exists here, and as a result, peat and moss are also common. The upper montane cloud forest lies above 7,200 feet. Moss is thick, orchids are abundant, and this is where Lowe's rhododendron can be found, its huge golden heads glowing in the forest. The subalpine meadow zone is at above 11,000 feet. It's mainly composed of shrubbery from conifers and rhododendrons due to fierce winds and torrential rains. The weird ecosystem that results allows its inhabitants to survive with many of its species endemic to this location. This means that they can only be found there. 